Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. Very quick on one tip for you. I'm working through a set of photos and you know, spending a lot of time in the edit module with a, a small set of photos and realize that I'm doing something that I, I do all the time and I don't know if I've ever explained or said about just switching photos when you're in the edit module. You don't have to bounce back to browse to choose your next photo to edit. Uh, I'll show you what I mean here. You know, a lot of times we have a photo here, we'll bring it over into edit. And this is kind of how it looks and we're working on the photo and we're doing things with it and we're ready to move on to the next photo. Well, um, you know, well, I, what do I do? What can I, what can I choose? How can I do things? If you press the F key on your keyboard or you go into view, view mode, film strip, you have the other photos that are in the album or folder that you're working on. You know, just pick another one and that loads up into edit, you go to that same view menu or press the E on your keyboard. I'll press E this time and I get my full screen view and I can move on and start editing my next photo. So uh, I thought I'd just share that. If you're in the edit module and you need to move to another photo that's part of the same album or folder you're working in, you don't have to bounce back to browse. Hit the view menu or just remember the keyboard shortcuts, F for film strip and uh, E for, I don't know, um, entire photo. Uh, I'm not sure why it's E, but it's E to see a full screen view of your image. I hope you found the tip useful. If you got other questions, you know, go ahead and drop them below. You guys know the drill. And until next time, have fun.